Hey, it's Chad Morris again. I'm an author and I'm here to do a video with Artist Chat. It's just a place a bunch of authors and illustrators are getting together to answer readers' questions, especially during this time where everybody's at home. Might be kind of fun to do. So if you've got questions, send them to Artist Chat, uh, at Artist Chat on Twitter. We'd love to answer them. Uh, today's question comes from Brittany Lucarini. Well, it actually comes from her daughter, Avery. And it says, how did you get the idea of for writing Squint? So Squint is this one right here. This is one of my books I wrote with my wife. Um, and I'll answer that question kind of generals for other, for anybody who might might want to know a little bit more about writing and writing ideas. And then I'll get straight to this one. So I think any idea for a story has two parts. You could say there's more, but I'm, I'm going to simplify it to two. One, there's got to be an interesting character, okay? Stories about an interesting character who, two, faces interesting trouble, right? I think you need both of those ideas, interesting character, interesting trouble. Uh, so this one is based on a boy named Flint uh, who loved to play football and had these friends and stuff, but he's got a problem with his eyes. He's got a disease called keratoconus, and he's starting to have trouble seeing, right? When that happens, he can't hang out with the same friends again. He's starting to get pretty lonely. Plus, he loves... To draw comics and uh, he's trying to finish one for a comic contest before his eyes get too bad uh, hopefully that's interesting trouble right just trying to do some interest some normal things uh, but when you can't see or can't see very well double vision triple vision uh, maybe that's an interesting thing to come about plus on top of it there's this cute popular girl that starts paying attention to him and he can't figure out if she's sincere or if she's just trying to make fun of him uh, so hopefully that makes a little sense. I did. I do know a few people that have character conus. Uh, sometimes it's very, very, um, I say not, not so serious and they can correct it with contact lenses and stuff. And then I do know some people with some pretty hefty, um, eye problems. And that's kind of where I got the idea. Um, and like the first chapter in this book is kind of based on something that happened to me when I was in junior high. So it's kind of sad and crazy, but, but that's, that's where it comes from. So again, you want a story with an interesting character facing interesting trouble. So to go through a couple more, this is what happens with a girl with a great sense of humor has to face a brain tumor, right? That's kind of interesting trouble or a girl who loves, uh, the ocean when she goes through something terrible, how does she deal with it? Well, she's going to talk to a whale who talks back, uh, or what about a girl, uh, who, um, is the granddaughter of this genius and everybody in her family's geniuses, but she's just average. And when the genius inventor goes missing, what does somebody like that kind of do? So anyway, there's, there's a couple of thoughts. Interesting character meets interesting trouble. Uh, hope that's useful. Thanks guys. Bye.